All right, so this is literally everything that goes into my minimalist coffee travel bag in 2023. Let's break it down. Everything packed up here in this one backpack for our trip. I'm here on our fourth day on a five day trip in Menorca, a beautiful island just off the coast of Spain or in Spain, very close to Barcelona. And so Anais and I decided we wanted to do five days of van life Ayakita. here on the island, but we wanted to go super minimal. We wanted to bring basically just carry on what could fit underneath the seat in front of us on the airplane. It's a short trip, around 50 minutes. So I thought it was a great challenge to see if I could fit all my camera gear, coffee gear, and then of course the other essentials for, for life and, and for travel. And so everything fit into this one bag. This, let's start with the bag itself actually. This is the Tropic Feel bag. Uh, I think it's called the Hive. I'm also wearing their, <laughs> their shoes. They're kind of water ready travel shoes. And I've honestly been wearing them the whole trip without any socks and they've been super comfortable. Great for going to the beach and you know, washing off and stuff like that. But let's get into some of the contents here in the bag. So first off, in the first front panel of this backpack, we actually have some little travel coffee brewers. So maybe you've seen some of my other videos about the, uh, the brew company brew kit, but um, yeah, these are really good in a pinch. Literally all you need is hot water or cold water. I even made a little cold brew with them the other day because our burner wasn't working, which we're gonna use in a sec. And so we had some cold brew, overnight cold brew. Put those in there. The next part here, it's really nice. Opens up fairly smooth, but this is my underwear, so I'm not gonna get, spend too much time on that. Let's open the front sort of clamshell side of this, this bag to show you what is in here. So basically it is my laptop. I wanted to do a little bit of editing and you know capture some footage here, but this bag itself is really cool. M24 is a brand I've been working with for a long time and they make all their bags and, and accessories from reused materials up in the UK. So really cool there. I'll leave it in the description. Up here we've got some extra microphones. Just really quickly, this is the Rode Wireless 2. So I've got one here, one here, one attached to the camera and you know some extra SD cards, batteries, things like that. And then in here, you know, the essentials, beer bottle opener. Uh, this is an ND filter for my other lens. Kindle for some nice reading. Notebook for some nice writing. I don't know if it's nice, but some writing. And this is actually the carrying case for the, the road. But I use it as a bit of a, a cable, cable case or some cords and stuff like that. So I'm going to leave that out. Moving on to the main compartment here, we've got all the rest. So start with the sweater. I literally brought two sweaters with me all rolled up. It is winter. It is December, but Menorca is just warm this time of year, at least this year. And so we've been lucking out, but of course, great for nighttime. I also have a jacket. I didn't put it in the bag. I wore it on the airplane. So I'm going to leave that out, but this is a nice little sweater. Got my other one here and a little sort of under, under sweater as well. So that comes in handy on, especially the the chilly nights are coming out of the sea. This is a great little shoulder bag, bum bag, whatever you want to call it. But what I love about it is uh, for going through airport or going through security and stuff like that. So I got my passport handy here. I've got my headphones here. Really nice, great for the airport. Then we've got toiletry bag. I'm not gonna dissect this too, too much, but as you can see, toothbrush. I do have a bigger one, but I decided to reuse this really cool bag that came with something. Just bring in the essentials on this trip. Again, hard drive. So this is for you know, editing or storing photos. You wanna make some backups or something. And then the other lens that I mentioned, I'll break this down and I'll actually break down my uh, travel camera sort of setup as well in just a minute. But this is the, the 2470 Canon with the Sony adapter. So I've been using that with my Sony body and then another camera. So this is the, the GoPro Hero 9. So this is great for going underwater or you know some of those time-lapse shots or if we wanted to put the camera on top of the van, maybe I'll try that just for, just for fun. Wasn't sure if I was gonna use this. Again, this is, a, this is a reused cloth because I didn't wanna bring the whole uh, GoPro case. So I like to just reuse things that I get from other products. Another pair of pants. So as you can see, 
I'm wearing some jeans here. I just wanted to bring two pants on this trip, as well as I'll just quickly go down to the bottom here. There's a nice little compartment sort of extension of the bag. And I also have my, my swim shorts, very colorful. These have been coming in handy for our dips in the sea. This whole trip, we've been kind of going from cove to cove around the island. Everything's very close, everything's very beautiful. And so we've been basically swimming every day. As you can see, my hair is not normally like this. It's not that greasy, but this is all salty, salty hair. And with the van, you know, you, you take what you can get. So no, no five-star shower jacuzzi service in this van, but that can always come later. Oh yeah, salty hair, salty food, sunset dinner here in Menorca. And then actually this, it's a very nice warm hat, but it doubles as a sort of a cover for my camera. So some of you might cringe at that aspect, but I've been doing that for years, kind of just wrapping my camera in, in a hat and putting it in sort of like a, a quick bag if I don't have my full camera. Camera bag with all the, the inside foam and, and protectors, I'll use a hat. Of course, we've got some socks in here, not that exciting. As I told you, I haven't even been wearing them. And then, few zipper pockets for extra cables and, and that kind of thing, but that's also pretty self-explanatory. So one other thing I wanted to mention while we're over here is this uh, front little pocket. So great for cables, you know, some other chargers, and of course home keys. I'm not using those these days, but keep them nice and safe for when we get home. Just leave that there. Now, what most of you are here for, or at least some of you based on the title of this video, the coffee kit. Again, from an M24 bag, I've been using this bag for years. It's all in here. And we've got our burner right over here, as you can see, it's now working, ready to boil some water. But first, let me show you the coffee we're gonna be using. The owners of the van were kind enough to lend us some nice local instant coffee. So let's get right into it. Oh, you're not here for instant coffee? That's very practical. Well, you know what? Let's use something else. The Pico Presso. <laughs> you won't be able to put uh, instant coffee in the Pico Presso, but we've got another brewer as well. Don't worry, we're not gonna use the instant. This is the coffee kit of choice. Now, it's a little bit mixed matched. I've done my own way at kind of putting this together, so it might not look totally familiar, but we've got the filter coffee brewer here because I love filter coffee. Uh, I love being able to share that with people as well. Anais loves filter coffee, but we've got the espresso brewer as well to do some spros on the go. Let me show you what we've got going on here. So this is the Pipa Mocha with a twist. Got the little exagrind in here, and I love that it fits inside the, the Pipa Mocha. So that's basically why I'm using this. And as you can see, we've got the orange Classic Pipa Mocha, but then we've got the Octoroma because this actually goes with this lid. So I like I like this lid a lot for travel uh, because it's it doesn't drip. I'll show you in a second. And then I like the the Pipa Mocha because it's one of those brewers, which we'll get into in just a second, that you don't really need uh, a scale. Of course, we mentioned this in some previous videos. You can use a scale. It's going to help you get a little bit more close on the replicability of your brew, but in a sort of camping, travel, road trip situation, this does a really good, good job at measuring out exactly what you need in the basket here. And of course, there's some, some little lines in here for the water level. So I'll show you exactly how that works in just a second. And we'll do a little bit of a Pico Presso workflow as well in the van. Got a nice little cloth, all Wokako, I, I swear this is not a Wokako video, but I do use their products a lot. And, and of course they're all oriented around travel and that sort of nomadic, nomad barista lifestyle. So of course they probably intended that we were gonna use the classic mocha pot. This is very common in Spain and sort of the south of, of Europe, but also very common for van lifers. But we do things a little bit differently here at the Nomad Barista. Of course we don't have a kettle, but we're gonna boil water <laughs> in this pot and make a nice brew. So this is actually the second time that I've had to boil water on a camping stove to make coffee. I made a video recently going through all the Wukako gear actually on a hike. So if you wanna check that out, 
video is right up here, but let's just do something similar, which is coffee in a van. You know what? I, I changed my mind. I'm not going to make a workflow video of the Pico Presso in this video, just to save us a little bit of time. But if you want to see that and how it applies to living in a van out here in Menarca, I made an Instagram reel. So go check out my Instagram in the description, Brody Vissers, and you can see the reel. But we've got a great Pico Mocha here. So let's get into it. Let me show you how it's done. First off, we're going to take the lid off the Octoroma. This, as I mentioned, fits right inside. You may have the stainless steel version. We're gonna take our basket, unpack this. And also there is a little dosing ring for this, but I also decided to leave that at home, keeping everything very minimal. You can just pop that in. And then my recommendation is just kind of get it nice and full, not too full screen right on top give it a nice little twist make sure it's all ready to go and then hot water right in there there's a little line here that i'm filling it up to just for measurement's sake and then my favorite part here as it floats down to the bottom and so while that drips through basically just waiting for all the bubbles to stop that means that the coffee is nice and soaked in there and I can start the extraction. But in the meantime, I wanna just give you a quick teaser of the Pico Presso. For those of you who haven't seen before, it is a really cool little manual coffee espresso brewer. It even has its own naked portafilter. This is a 52 millimeter basket, portafilter, shower screen. That's it there. The pump comes through here and then the We've got a little DWT tool as well. And then the tamper and the dosing ring actually fit right inside the top. This is the water tank. So if you're someone who loves espresso and you love tinkering with your recipe, but you don't want a whole to take up so much space on your countertop or you travel a lot or you live in a van and you want really great espresso, the mocha pot is great, but we all know that it's not quite the same as a properly pulled espresso. So if that's you, this could be a great option, but more on that in the reels. And if you really don't wanna leave YouTube and go to Instagram, I've left a quick video right up here comparing the Pico Presso to its predecessor, the Nano Presso. So I'll leave that right there. But this is about time to extract. We can put the lid on just for safety, fits nice. And then we just start twisting here, nice and slow. So there is the coffee portion of this video. Pop that here for a sec. And then as I mentioned, this is a great travel mug. I love it because a lot of travel mugs, they, they tend to drip, they tend to spill everywhere, but I'm, I'm never afraid of this Wukako Octoroma spilling. So let's take a sip, but since it's hot, I like to kind of let it air out a bit. Oh yeah, that is good. And I guarantee it tastes even better because we're here in the wild. But I did promise some of you that I would give you a little bit of behind the scenes of what gear, what camera gear and sort of tech gear that I'm using on this trip. I just bought a new camera recently and new lens and it's really helping me uh, to streamline my, my filming workflow as well as my coffee workflow. So let's get into that and wrap up this video. I know this is a very, very small, mirror but this is literally all we've had on this on this trip and so this is the canon a7c it's really nice i love it because of the flip out screen this is something i didn't have on my a7s2 before and it makes things a lot easier as i mentioned i also have the wireless go 2 and so this allows me to do some really easy filming with the mic over here and interviews and stuff like that. And as you can see, I've got this rocks tack little sort of tripod thing, which makes it easy to attach my camera to a bunch of other stuff, but I'll use my, my phone here to show you a little bit more, a better video than in the mirror. So this, this lens right here, this is the Zeiss Sony 16 to 35 F4. And I love, love the autofocus on this thing. That's exactly why I got it. And also the range for, for vlogging and doing that kind of thing. So there it is. 
my minimalist coffee travel bag 2023. This is gear that I really hope to bring with me for the year to come. It's really served me well on this trip. And if you want to come along for the journey, now is a great time to subscribe. I'd love to see you in the next few videos. We're going to do a lot of coffee travel in 2023. And if you want to come along for a previous journey that I made, click this video right up here and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.